Massachusetts ranks 11th in the country in terms of installed solar capacity with nearly 5,400 megawatts of installed solar as of 2024. The industry in Massachusetts is worth about $12 billion, and we're only going to continue to see that increase because of the state's renewable portfolio standard. As of August 2024, the average electric rate in Massachusetts sat at 29 cents a kilowatt hour and has had some of the highest increases over the last 10 years of any state in the country, with 69% increases from 2014. The average yearly rate increases about 5.5%, which is nearly double the national average. Because of these high rate increases, continuing high costs, and a state that is committed to clean energy and installing more solar, we're only going to see this continue to increase as the Solar Energy Industry Association notes that about 25% of the state's energy currently comes from solar. So it's going to continue to go up. And well, let's take a look at some of the programs that are available from Massachusetts and to Massachusetts homeowners that are helping burn on solar production. You can find a whole list of these at desire.org and also talking to your local solar installer. From the federal government, homeowners who install solar can take the 30% federal tax credit currently sits at 30% of the total system, the investment that you're making. Make sure you talk to your trusted tax provider, though, on what is happening with your system because tax credits can hit everybody differently depending on your taxable situation. Businesses that are installing solar in Massachusetts can also apply for and qualify for the Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, or MACRS, which is commonly referred to as Section 179 depreciation means they can depreciate their solar asset over a five-year period as opposed to a longer period, and they get tax deductions based on that depreciation value. Now, as far as state incentives and programs go, Massachusetts has a, quite a number for their homeowners. First of all is a sales tax exemption. So any solar equipment is exempt from sales tax, which is about 6.25% in Massachusetts. This helps to lower costs on the front end. At first, Batteries weren't included in this, but the law was amended in 2021 to include battery storage. There's also a property tax exemption for people who are going solar in Massachusetts. As you talked about in previous videos, solar will increase your property value for anywhere from about 5 to 10%. But because you get that increase from solar with this exemption, you're not going to have to pay more property taxes because of it. Massachusetts also offers a residential energy tax credit for their state income taxes. So anybody who is buying a solar or wind energy system in Massachusetts can get this credit up to $1,000 on their state income taxes. That is set, the amount is set at 15% of the net expenditure, which means it's your total system cost minus any grants, rebates, or anything you would get from the federal government. So let's say, if it's, for example, it was a $30,000 system to start with and you took the federal tax credit, that's $9,000. So your net expenditure is $21,000. 15% of that for the state tax credit would be $3,150, but you're capped at $1,000. So essentially, this tax credit is going to be about a $1,000 credit for most homeowners unless you install a really small system. One of the most prominent incentives in Massachusetts, or at least incentive that was, is the Solar Massachusetts Renewable Target Program, or the SMART program. SMART is a program that's at the end of its life right now and is working on having a replacement come from it, but it still is available in a couple of areas. What this does is it gives homeowners monthly payments based on how much power their system generates for 10 years. So currently, the only areas that have any funding available in this declining block program are Eversource in Eastern Mass and National Grid in Nantucket. Everywhere else, unfortunately, is out of funding and the government is working on a replacement for this program. Near, because near the end of its life, the payments that people are getting per kilowatt hour are fairly low, like less than a penny. So for systems that are under 25 kilowatts in size, they can receive smart payments for their system. So for example, for National Grid in Nantucket, if a system were to produce 400 kilowatt hours in a month, they would receive about five and a half dollars that month for a payment. It's not a lot of money, but it is something coming through and they are working on a replacement for this program. So there will be more incentive available at some point in the future. The program also includes adders for energy storage. So you can receive more money if you do have batteries installed on your system. The utilities have released a calculator that you can download and use on Excel so you can see what the adders would be. And your local solar installer is going to be able to walk you through what's available to you specifically. Now, while Massachusetts does have a few large investor-owned utilities, there's a lot of towns that also have their own municipal light plants or MLPs. Some of those MLPs also provide their own incentives for people who do want to go solar. And these can range anywhere from the low end, about $300 per kilowatt for installed solar, all the way up to some that are offering $1,200 per kilowatt for installed solar. Each has their own maximums and specific program requirements, but 
there are local area incentives available if you do take your power from one of these MLPs. I'll leave a full list of the MLPs that do have them and what their value are in the description on this video. There's also a battery incentive called the Mass Save Connected Solutions Program. The Connected Solutions Program is a virtual power plant incentive which would allow for batteries to be drained for enroll homeowners for certain periods of time. The program says that it's going to be no more than 60 times per year from June through September for a maximum of three hours just to fight grids instability. So if you do enroll your battery in this and find it right for you, you could receive $275 per kilowatt for your enrolled capacity during that summer contribution months. They also make a note that this is only going to happen from about 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. and not on holidays. So if it's right for you, talk with your solar installer and see if you might be able to get some more money for your system. As far as net metering in Massachusetts goes, law requires that the investor-owned utilities do provide net metering at nearly the entire retail rate. So it's a pretty good market for solar homeowners, so you are going to be getting a pretty good rate if you do send excess power out to the grid. Now, if you are a part of a smaller NLP, you may not have that same, so make sure you talk with your solar installer or your specific utility on what their rates are. Between some high electric rates and a renewable portfolio standard, and a number of incentives available to the homeowners, we are going to continue to see Massachusetts be a pillar of the solar community in the United States. We expect this to continue to go, and as the government does work on replacement for the SMART program, that's going to provide a lot more incentive to homeowners and make it even more attractive to go solar in Massachusetts. If you found this video helpful, make sure as you like the video and subscribe to the channel, and also check out some of our other videos on other state incentives and enhancing the efficiency of your system.